a mess. But I may just have to get drastic with it. What's up guys, and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perito. Today, we're fixing a root-bound tree. All right, so some friends of mine gifted me a white zapote. And as you can see, it's really root bound. It's in some pretty bad shape. I have to kind of get it out, shake things off and investigate first, but you can see that parts of it are, you know, dying on top. And I have to investigate to see what kind of root prune we're gonna have to do on this. So as you can see, it was not only root bound, but it looks like the soil has fallen down, exposed some roots and there seems to be a lot of damage, lots going on. Um, I know most of the time white sapote is grafted onto a sage orange, and I'm not really sure if this was grafted or not. One thing I could kind of see is maybe the indication of a cleft here, um, which would mean that that would be rootstock. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Um, I'm just going to get down here investigate and see what kind of problems we're having. Another thing you can see is some death here. Everything on top looks okay. And then another part of me is wondering if this union here might be a graft as well, but bark wise, this all looks like sapote. So my main focus is cutting off anything dead on top, giving it a chance. Um, looking at the roots, seeing what we can do down here. There may be a little die off after we take care of the roots, but we'll see what we can do. So the first thing I'm gonna do, by the way, this is a Redland white sapote. First thing we're gonna do is try to shake off as much dirt as we can. And I know these roots can be somewhat fragile, so I'm gonna be pretty careful in that regard. Kind of patting, shaking, seeing what we're working with. And there's so much going on here. You may have to soak this up. You can see the bottom here, pretty root bound as well. This thing's just been neglected for a while. See, we're losing a lot of roots, some of these little tiny ones, but that's all right. We've got a bigger problem. The problem with root bound is things may be fine for a long time, but then once your tree is well established, starts fruiting, that's when you're gonna see problems and then it's too late to redeem things. So I can tell you one thing, after losing some of these uh, finer roots, we're gonna need to uh, nurse this puppy for a little while. Right now, kind of looking for a tap root. Which I think is happening straight down here. I'm gonna see where a majority of these roots are coming from. You can see we already had some rot. All right, so I'll bring you guys in a little closer here. But this is what we're working with. Uh, kind of trying to meander around. I think what's happening is a lot of this, uh, I'm trying to see what the tree's actually utilizing. But I may have to see what wiggles and prune accordingly. If I see anything dead, kind of the same. This is a mess. But I may just have to get drastic with it. And uh, things like this, that's just gonna choke it off right here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a bonsai tree at this point. It's just insane. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start snipping and seeing what I can find as I prune off more. Pieces like this, just, you know, that's just terrible. They were roots. The soil receded, it started to kind of bark up and then it's getting damaged too. 
So that's the beginnings of rot there. So yeah, let's just snip snip. So yeah, I'm just kind of meandering around seeing what's kind of loose and taking it down just a little bit at a time. You can see this piece on top is just gnarly and not doing much. There is rot at the end of it. It's all tangled up. It's all constricting each other. Just bad news. Some of these, maybe I can kind of pull out a little, it looks like. That's good. So I can at least investigate. I have a feeling I kind of have to work with what looks like the initial taproot and do some snipping here. I don't want to say it's too far gone, but this is bad. I'm sure a lot of these trees you get at the nursery are actually like this and people just never know it. And then a few years down the road, your tree's gone. One thing I'm kind of noticing, some of these roots have kind of, you know, you have uh, parts of a tree crossing each other, they'll eventually merge together. So it looks like they've made some joints, which could actually help in a way because I can prune off some of the constricting stuff. But um, let me just investigate a little further, see what I can get away with snipping. It does have a little bit of pliability, so I am able to, yeah, untwine some of this. And so I'll see what that'll free up. One of the bigger problems I'm seeing is this guy going all the way around. I'm just gonna start pruning that because that's already a huge problem. There we go. That freed up quite a bit there too. It looks like a significant amount of uh, growth was on that root, but you gotta do what you gotta do here. Let me see if I can see any other major problem areas. And I'm trying to free up what I can here, but this thing is just utterly bound. Something I may have to do too is kind of try to use rocks at the bottom of a pot and try to separate what I can. Yeah, so some of these aren't even quite fused together, but let's see. Kind of trying to follow the roots to see what I can see here. One thing I'm kind of contemplating is we already lost more than half the roots. Uh, letting things rest, I'll probably bury it a little further up to create some more roots, essentially air layering it. Leave it alone for a while and just hope for the best because there's too much going on here. What I can try to do is guide some of the roots out of the way of each other. But up here, everything's connected to up here and this is already going to, you know, essentially start constricting. So I think my best bet is to just try and air layer it. Let me see what this is connected to. Yeah, I think that's my best bet. Bearing it up, trying to kind of air layer it. I still can't differentiate where the rootstock may start and the sapote ends. Worst case scenario, I have another sapote. I can overwinter this and graft onto that if uh, what I have here survives. So I'm gonna grab some rocks real quick. So I got some rocks here. Essentially, I'm going to start to mix my soil here with what was in the pot and also some soil of my own. This was anything like uh, one of my last transplants. It's gonna take a while to bounce back with that root loss. The roots are really fragile, so Take note, it's very important to prune 
root prune, do all that stuff, make sure it's not root bound before you get it in the ground and start establishing it. So we're just gonna get the pot filled. I'm kind of sizing things up to see. I mean, it may have to start touching the bottom if I wanna bury it up. And I'm going to use these rocks to kind of push some of these roots aside. Use rocks and uh, the dirt. And I'm just kind of prying them away from the rest of the bound root. Hoping that'll help. And then we're just gonna bury it in. Of course, before I get too far, um, well, after the video probably, I'm gonna give that a real nice soak. And uh, the only real problem I see is up there. There's a little bit of die off on the side here. So it may be, um, hopefully this is sapote. I'll know a little better once I see some leaf growth, but it is still alive. But um, like I said, it could be that that was the graft union down there. We'll see. But as for now, we're gonna soak that in. I'm gonna keep it in the shade. I am going to overwinter this in the greenhouse so that it has a fighting chance. And uh, that's about as good as it gets. Whether this is successful or not, um, the video's main thing was just to observe what, what was root bound, attempt to do something about it, see what you can do, see what kind of options you have, see what kind of uh, repercussions there are of root bound. As you can see, a lot underneath was uh, rotting out and stuff and all the constriction and it's affecting the top as well. So if nothing more, just a little something for you guys to learn from. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.